Did you know that you can schedule prompts with Copilot so that you can automate your routine tasks? In this video, we will break down three simple steps so that you can schedule your prompts effectively. To use this feature, you need to have a Microsoft 365 Copilot add-on license, which means that from the Microsoft 365 homepage in the new chat area, you have this work toggle at the top. Firstly, we need to start with a clear prompt. So in this case, I'm going to ask Copilot to provide a summary of my calendar events for today, including the time, topics, and the importance level of each event. Copilot will then generate an output. And the second thing that we need to do is to review it for accuracy and to see if it is actually something that we want. And if there are any adjustments that you want to make to the prompt, then what I recommend doing here is starting a new chat and testing out your prompt there. Once you have dialed in your prompt and you have something that you want to run on a recurring basis, then we can move on to step number three, which is scheduling the prompt. To schedule our prompt, we can hover over it and then select this little clock icon, which is schedule this prompt. And this will bring up the parameters that we can set. So we can define a start date as well as the time that you want this to happen at. And then we have our repeat options. So you can do daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. And just if you're going to do daily, then you can toggle off the days that you don't want. So for example, if you don't want this to run on the weekends, then we can remove those. Then down here, we have the runtime. So unfortunately, we are not allowed to run this indefinitely. So just be mindful of when the end date is up here. And then what I would recommend doing here is putting a item in Microsoft Planner or to do to remind yourself on that date that you need to reschedule this prompt if you would like to continue using it. Then at the bottom here, we have this receive an email when responses are ready. I'm going to leave this toggled on so that you can see it full circle, but you can decide if you would like to leave that toggled on or off. So once we are ready, we can then go and save our prompt. Once you have saved your prompt, we can then run it and test it out. So we can select the ellipses here and go run now. And then I will show you what that looks like. Now, because I toggled on that email notification, this is what it looks like. So once your prompt runs at that defined time, or when you click the run now, then you'll receive an email that looks like this. And we can then select this link here to open up that conversation in Copilot chat. Now, alternatively, we can go into Copilot chat and you're going to see this little red dot here. And that just means that you have unread notifications to read. So we can select the drop down here and we'll see that that prompt has run and is at the top and it is bolded so we know that we haven't read it yet. So this is where we can come and check on our prompts that are running on that recurring basis. And finally, to manage our prompts, we can go up to the ellipses on the top right here and then go to scheduled prompts. So once all of your prompts load, then we can select the ellipses once again and you can either turn them off or delete them. Now, just note that at this time, we are only able to have 10 prompts scheduled at a time. So we just need to be mindful of that and use them to their full potential. Now, be sure to grab my Copilot starter pack linked here and also watch this video next for more tips on using Copilot 365.